Let us consider another term called factory. What is a factory? Now suppose, suppose I have receivables of, let us say I have receivables of 100,000 on a particular date. Dollars, 100,000, right? Now when will I get this money? I may get some of it after one month, some of it after two months, some of it after three months and maybe a few may even be uncollectible, I do not know. But though I have a receivable of 100,000, if I need cash immediately, I need cash immediately, what do I do? I could do one thing. I could go to a person called a factor. This agency or the factoring agent, the factor, what he does is, I, he will buy my receivables. Factor will buy my receivables. So I hand over all the receivables to him and I tell him, you keep these receivables, you collect money from my debtors, can you please give me money now? He says, okay, how much is due to you? I'll give you money. You need 100,000. But I'll do one thing, 10,000 let me keep aside as reserve. What if all these debtors, after two days, many of them, you might have a sale return. So I'll keep this as reserve. Maybe I will give you 90,000 now. I will give you this 10,000, of course, later on if I collect it. But if these are going to be a sale return, then there is no question of collectability. Yes or no? Fine, I am happy with 90,000. But then, but then, what does the factor want? The factor has to be paid. Some. Why would the factor do this? Why would the factor go and collect my receivables for me? Obviously, I have to pay him a commission. <coughs> commission. Maybe it's 2%. Maybe it's 5%. Whatever. Let us assume that this commission is 5%. So if it is 5%, it means 5% on 100,000. So it is 5,000. He will deduct this commission also and he will give me only 85,000. Is this clear? He will give me only 85,000. <coughs> In addition to this, he will also charge interest. He will also charge interest. If this, he will be able to collect this money only in the next, let's say, two months, he may be charging an interest of 10% or 15% or 18%, whatever. If he charges an interest of 10%, then 10% of 85,000 because he's giving me 85,000 maybe for two months two months would be also deducted from him from me and the net amount will be handed over is this clear so what has happened I have receivables in my books I'm an organization I represent an organization and we have let's say 100,000 receivables but we want cash immediately so we sell our receivables to a factor factor buys the receivables means he takes the responsibility of collecting the money from the receivables and he says I'll give you your money immediately but he keeps some things in reserve since there could be returns he also deducts his commission for collecting the receivables and the net amount he would give me but he says that after all this money I will collect only after two months you have to pay me interest on this and therefore that interest would also be would also be uh, deducted and the balance amount he will uh, pay me. So I get money, I get money, the factor makes a commission income, income. The only small hitch is suppose there is an uncollectible amount uncollectible somebody is not thing who is responsible do we bear the risk or does the factor bear the risk that depends on the terms of agreement that will depend on the terms of agreement let us just go through this again what is factoring factoring is nothing but the sale of receivables sale of receivables to a third party called a factor <clears throat> He charges his, for doing this, his commission may be a percent of the receivables. This is called the factor fee. Usually, an amount is kept aside as reserve. This is for, this is for returns, right? Now, now, the agreement may be without recourse or it may be with recourse. 
without recourse means that the factor will assume the risk of the inability to collect. Factor will assume the risk of a bad debt. <coughs> it's his. I don't have to worry now. I have uh, handed it over to him. If there are bad debts, that is his. That will be borne by, borne by the factor. Mind you, I would of course instruct all my customers to hand over payments to the factor. <coughs> But if it is with recourse, if it is with recourse, it means that we would continue. If there is a bad debt, we would be responsible for the same and not the factor. <coughs> this is, so this is a kind of short term financing, I can say, right? I sell my debtors. This is in a way a short term financing, short term funding because I can get money immediately on the strength of my receivables. Let us try this problem, an exercise. A company has receivables of 100,000. It sells without recourse to a factor for a commission of 4%. The rate of interest is 18% per annum with a reserve of 10%. The average credit period, 60 days. What is the cost of factoring to the company? Take 360 days in a year. Okay, so what is my amount First and foremost, let us say the receivables, right? The receivables are 100,000. Okay. So this is taken. There is a reserve of 10%. So less the reserve amount, he is not going to give me this immediately. He is keeping this. Of course, this money will be given to me later. He just holds it aside <coughs> in case there are returns. That's all, right? Less. So now, right now, he will immediately, he could give me 90,000. But then there is a commission of 4%. So what are the charges for the commission? This commission is for collecting. Commission of 4% would be 4,000. So am I talking of 86,000? Next, so I've taken care of this 100,000 commission. Now I've got a rate of interest of 18%. This is something I have to take care of. What does this mean? The average credit period is 60 days. This means that the factor is giving me 86,000, whereas he will collect this money only after 60 days, only after 60 days. So he will charge an interest at the rate of 18%. What do you think will be the interest among students? Interest, interest should be, let me see, it is 18%, right? 18% on, he is giving me only 86,000. For 60 days by 360. Yes or no? If I take this, how much do I get? I get 18% of 86,000. Something like 2580. So the interest amount would be 2580. And the net money that he will give me is therefore, <coughs> how much is this? 83,000. 420. This I get immediately. I'll get immediately. This after that 10,000 I will get later, maybe 60 days later. Correct? So what is my cost of financing? If you ask me, the cost of factoring, the cost of financing, the cost, this would be the commission. The commission of 4,000, the commission of 4,000 and, and interest, and interest of 2580, 2580, which is 6580. This would be the cost of factory. Is it clear? We'll go through this once more. Maybe with a neater presentation <coughs> and see. <coughs> Look at this. The receivables are 100,000, right? Right. Reserve is at the rate of 10%, right? 10,000. Factor fee, 4%. 4% 4 of 100,000, 4,000. So I have left with 86,000. I am left with 86,000. <coughs> Uh, interest is at the rate of 18% per annum. So 18% on 86,000 
into 60 by 360. This should be 2580 is the interest. So 83, 4000 is received now and the balance 10,000. Don't worry, that's not a cost. It's not that I'll get only 83, 420. I will get 93, 420 totally. So 10,000 will be received after 60 days. My total cost is 4,000 and this seems to be 2580. So it is 6580. 6580. <coughs> entries. Okay, great. So what will be my entry? What do you think will be my entries? I will get only 83,000. 420. Yes or no? <coughs> 83,420. <coughs> so bank 83,420. Next, this is my expense, factor fee, factor commission, 4,000. Another expense is interest, 2,580. I have a receivable. This I will get after 60 days of 10,000. Is all this clear? Money received, 83,420. Factor fee or interest are expenses expenses and this is a receivable and asset all this is debited and my receivables are gone i don't have this receivable this hundred thousand receivables do not belong to me they belong now to the factor so receivables hundred thousand has been reduced from my books factoring short-term funding short-term financing 